Hey guys, Technomancer here with the video for you guys. In today's video, we're going to show you how to fix your phone iMessage not delivering. This is an issue that commonly occurs. You might have experienced it in the past and you might experience it in the future because this is a common issue pretty much every iPhone user experiences. But there's quick ways to fix this issue and be able to send your message. So the generic message you get is something like this where you have a message and it will say, with the explanation mark not deliver and it didn't send or you might also see the green bubble just like this with a not deliver as well now let's really understand how iMessage works so iMessage works through your data plan or your internet connection through your Wi-Fi so first thing you want to check for that is go into settings and make sure your Wi-Fi is turned on and you're connected to a network if you're using cell Wi-Fi now if you have cellular data make sure that your carrier is active and you have a data plan with them so if you don't have data plan and you're outside out of the Wi-Fi zone you won't be able to send iMessage so that's important that you have a cellular data plan and if some reason you might also want to contact your carrier to make sure your cellular data plan is available and you have enough uh, data on your plan to use cellular data so really important to check that the next thing you want to check in the settings is actually the iMessage setting itself by going into messages in the settings here and then once you go there you want to see that iMessage here is turned on and then underneath you'll see here send and receive you should see your phone number or an email or both you want to make sure you have those listed here if they're not listed that means your phone isn't registered or your email isn't registered send iMessage you need to have that usually it's linked with your Apple account ID so what we usually do to troubleshoot is turn this off give it a few moments and we're going to go ahead and turn it back on so that kind of activates disables and re-enables our iMessage just to give it another refresh just in case that and now go ahead and check to see if your iMessage is getting sent while you're doing that the other thing you might want to consider doing is going into opening it up and press and hold it here once you press and hold the previous message that you tried to send click on more and let's go ahead and uh, delete that message and then after you delete it you want to go ahead and send a new one of course and the next time you send it you want to keep an eye on this arrow so this arrow means that the phone you're sending it to if it's blue they can receive iMessage now if it's green that means that number that you're trying to send to might not even have an iPhone so it might be green so that's one thing to remember iMessage the person in the end has to have an iOS device themselves for you to send that iMessage to so their number or their email that you're using has to be iOS device for iMessage to work because iMessage is an iPhone or iOS ecosystem so it's gonna look something like this so if we send a message here to someone right if they have an iPhone as you'll see here it's blue just like this and this time it will be delivered now let's move on to the next tip if you're still having issues and you can't send it is doing a simple force restart of your iPhone so an iPhone 8 and above so this is the iPhone 12 Pro, but iPhone 13 Pro, iPhone 11, iPhone 10, all of them, same method applies here. Basically, you're going to press and release the volume up and then volume down and then hold this big side button on your right hand side. Again, you see Siri activated because we weren't quick enough. So, you want to do is volume up, volume down, and then this side button. And this time, as you can see here, we'll see slide to power off. The reason why I wanted to show you that Siri came off is that if you're not quickly doing volume up and down and then holding the side button it won't work so we'll hold it here on the side button until you see the Apple logo and then let go it's key that you do the volume up and down really quick and then hold the side button keep on holding it down until you see the screen go completely black don't slide to power it off just wait for the Apple logo and then it will be back up again and once you do that you'll be prompted to enter your passcode here so we put in our demo passcode here and to get back into the phone here or if you have face ID enable after you put in the password face ID will start working and hopefully this time your iMessage is working now the next thing you want to do if you're still having issues is go ahead and go into settings one more time again and this time what we'll do is in our setting page we'll go ahead and sign out of our 
iCloud account and then sign back in. So to do that, you're going to want to click on sign out here. And once you sign out, you'll enter your password, turn off. It might ask you to do a two-factor authentication if you have that on. And then once you do that, you're just going to sign back in. So make sure you know your password and email. Of course, we want to do it just for the sake of time, but that's the next thing you want to do. Now, if you're still having issue, it's time to go ahead and update your software on your phone if there is a software out. So to do that, again, in the settings, this time we'll go to general software update. Look to see if there's the update. Make sure you have a good Wi-Fi connection or internet connection. See if there's an update because sometimes what happens is there might be a bug or some sort of performance issue or something preventing from iMessage not working. Go ahead and download and install the latest version of the iOS version itself. Now moving on to the next thing if you're having still having the issue of not being able to send is that you want to go ahead and check uh, the actual iMessage services themselves if they're working. So in rare cases, Apple servers might not be working for iMessage. And you can simply check by going into the internet browser and check out Apple system status. So in the system status page is a list of all the Apple services Apple provides and they will tell you the exact service and see if it's available or not. So as you can see right now, all services are running normal, but you'll notice here if you go down and take a look at things like iMessage right here at the bottom, iMessage is available. Let's say in a case that it says not available, that means that Apple servers are down and you just have to wait it out. Usually Apple fixes this really quick because everyone uses iMessage, so it's a key service might be down for 5-10 minutes maybe if it's an outage or something but don't expect it to be long the only thing you really can do is just maybe you can contact them or just wait it out till that service is available lastly if all of those are still having giving you issues and you still can go ahead and do it it's time to do a network reset to do that you're going to go into settings this time in settings you want to go to general and then all the way down here where it says transfer or reset iPhone. Now this is on iOS 15. Your menu might be slightly different if you're on an older version or a newer version. So we're going to go ahead and click on that. Once you click on that, you'll see the option for reset here. And once you see that, you'll see the option for network reset. The other reset you can do is all settings, which will reset all of your settings. So remember, this setting will only delete things like your Wi-Fi connection, VPN connection, things like that. This setting will not delete your data like your photos, apps, videos, all of that. Your contacts will stay there. This is just deleting the network part of the phone that you saved, like the Wi-Fi passwords, VPN connections, and configuration that you might have set up, which you'll need to set up. So again, proceed with a little bit of caution when you're doing this because it will delete your uh, saved Wi-Fi passwords and VPN settings. So that's the one thing you do. But again, it is the last resort thing that you want to do if your iMessage is not working. So hopefully one of these tips that we shared help you guys and I want to hear from you guys if one of these help, which one helped, or if you found a better solution that was applicable for your case, leave a comment in the comment section. Thanks for watching guys. See you guys next time.